everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be doing a cloth nappy review on the Bear and, on the Bear and Boho brand. Um, I do have two different brands of nappies but I, um, I'll do a separate video for the other one. Yes, hi darling. So, uh, I started Harrison in cloth nappies in January. So he's been in them for almost three months now and the main reason that I wanted to put him in cloth nappies is because I would run out of nappies at home and then have to go out and take two kids with me to go and buy some or I'd have to send Jake out to get some or it would just be a big hassle. Hi Cheeky. What? Hey, <laughs> yeah? See ya. So, uh, I'm going to start with the Bear and Boho brand. This um, is my favourite one. Uh, I This wasn't the one that I started off with. I do recommend starting, like if you're a first time cloth user, to start off with something a bit simpler. Hello. Yeah. Um, I do find these are a little bit... A little bit trickier to fit this brand this particular type of brand um, but once you do get the fit right and uh, you've had more experience with them I do find that um, they are freaking awesome nappies so basically I'll give you a little rundown um, of the two nappies that I've got uh, the two different types of nappies that I've got so what I started with was a my little gum nut nappy now this is a pocket nappy, that means you put the insert that in absorbs wee on the inside of it and you stuff it. Bear and Boho brand does not have a pocket, it is a snap and wipe shell. So basically you take your insert and you snap it inside and if they wee in it you can unsnap, wipe the shell down and reuse it or you can hang it up and then reuse it. Um, so I did really like that idea, I also find them easier to clean. Um, and they dry really quickly because there's no uh, lining in them either. So this is one of my favorite brands. I'll give you a rundown of how they work. These are the inserts here. So they sell both a hemp insert and a bamboo insert. You can see the difference in the colors. Uh, so we have the hemp is a more yellow whereas the bamboo is white. I do find that the bamboo is um, a lot softer um, and it's really nice and soft on the inside, as you can see there. The hemp is a little bit more firm, um, but it does really, it still softens up as soon as um, you put some body warmth to it. Uh, and generally, I find that they absorb the, the same amount. These are extremely thirsty inserts, so, uh, with Harrison, he's quite a heavy wetter. I get about three to four hours just out of having one insert, nothing else in there. Um, and that's no leaks either. So you have your insert and then your shell. These here are boosters. If you have a heavier wetter, um, you can add a booster into your nappy. So this one here is a version one booster. Um, I bought the version ones because they were on sale. Um, the version 1s are exactly the same as the version 2s except they have snaps on them. So the version 2s don't have snaps and that way you can place them either on top or underneath your insert. Um, but I don't really mind either way. So what you do is you snap your booster to your insert. You can snap it. Um, you don't necessarily have to snap it but I like to snap them. Um, you can also just have it snapped up at the front. like. With a boy, obviously, he wees all at the front, so you can even fold it over and have it all at the front and just have it snapped in the one spot, regardless. Um, and then you snap that, you snap that to your shell as well, and then that's in there, nice and snug. Um, and that will that will work. For a good well for Harrison it's different with every child but with Harrison it works for six to eight hours so I find I get like a lot out of this um, now what we use for Harrison for overnight is I will snap in an insert to the nappy 
and I will also use a Bear and Boho trifold. Now this here is three layers of um, bamboo fabric and then obviously it is being it will be folded which will give you nine layers essentially uh, they too have snaps so that they don't unfold during the night uh, and then you lay that onto onto your nappy and he wears that during the night uh, I also find it's really good to make sure that the snaps at the front are completely undone during the night and that will give you that extra space in there for that extra amount of absorbency for overnight. I will get 12 to 13 hours out of this so um, they're perfect for overnight. I find them really soft. They are great um, for overnight wetters. Uh, heavy wetters and yeah I just think that they're awesome um, now that's just a basic rundown of the inserts the boosters and the tripod um, now the shells I found a lot of a lot of reviews of these particular brand of shells being too tight having the elastics too tight around their legs these uh, shells have a double gusset, so it has two bands of elastic here. This really, really helps with um, with leaks. I find I don't leak at all. I could have, they could have a major poop explosion and they will not leak. Um, and I find that dedicated to these trusty double gussets. People do find that these can leave red marks. If you get the right fit, um, you shouldn't be getting these red marks or the marks should be minor if you have really full-on marks then maybe they just aren't for you um, because I do find them quite tricky I did get marks at the beginning um, but I only get slight marks now and they're gone within five minutes of taking the nappy off uh, people also don't like that obviously because it's a snap and watch uh, system it doesn't have a lining in there uh, Lots of people prefer pocket nappies because they've got that soft micro fleece or micro suede lining in it. Um, me, I don't really mind. I find that he's still comfortable in these. With the way that these na uh, these nappies fit, um, different for every baby. I'll just give you a rundown of basically how most uh, snap nappies work. So it is called a modern cloth nappy. Um, and this is a all-in-two system so um, if you research it you'll you'll find what all-in-two is all about so you've got got three different settings of rise snaps these can work from four kilos onwards um, Lelia at the moment is 3.8 and she fits in them awesome so actually I've even found they're a little bit tight on her legs so I've had to make them bigger for her um, so she's actually fitting in them quite well uh, I'll get to that and then you've got quite a lot of set uh, quite a lot of room to actually customize your um, setting on there uh, Harrison obviously for overnight he does he has all of the rise snaps undone during the day uh, I just have him on one rise setting I find that that's enough for him like so now you can only see the two and you make sure that that fold there is folded upwards so that way you'll get the right fit if that um, fabric is folded upwards when fitting your bubs they come in um, a lot of different prints as well they actually did just do a new release and I think that a, quite a few of the prints have already sold out um, I managed to get I got all of the ones that I wanted so far um, just a few of them that I've got here so firstly this one is called the wattle and I wanted it for ages it's very very sweet um, and then I got these beautiful half moon shells I've actually got a pink one of these for Laylee as well uh, and then I have this beautiful mustard color as well 
Um, this one's probably my favorite one. I do have a few others as well. I've got one with rainbows on it, which is just beautiful because he's my rainbow baby. This is the rainbow one uh, that is Harrison's. These ones are Lelia's, so I have this beautiful floral print. This is actually, this was a limited edition uh, release that came out from Audi uh, earlier this year. This one and then the pink half moon as well. So I was really lucky to snag a couple of these and I got um, two for Harrison as well. Uh, that's a, initially how I tried them out, just to see how they were. Um, and yeah, I love them, fell in love with them. So I've got those two. And then I got this beautiful sunshine floral um, print as well. And then I got a golden summer too. And then I got uh, these vines as well. And I actually have one more, but it's in the wash. And it's just, it's basically, it's, it's like Harrison's mustard one, but it's pink and I love it. I had to get pretty much all the pink ones for her because I wanted everything all pink. But yes, I think that if uh, you find yourself uh, needing to have a better nappy, something that doesn't leak, something that um, is very durable, I find these very good quality. Um, I love the fabric of them, even the PUL that they use uh, like the, on their shelves is really soft, it's really thick. Um, and I find that they're just amazing nappies. I highly recommend. Their customer service is just astonishing. I love their customer service. The woman that first, um, the woman that owns the company, Jordan, is just beautiful. Uh, I highly recommend anybody wanting to try them out to maybe just try one first um, because they, as I said, they are a tricky fit. And they're not for everybody. They're not for everybody's baby. That if you can get the right fit, they are honestly an amazing nappy. Oh, there's Lainey. Yeah, thank you guys so much for uh, watching the review. Um, hopefully, I've turned somebody onto this amazing brand. It really is uh, definitely worth the money. Um, and I will try and pop up a review of the pocket nappies as well, uh, so that everyone can see the differences in the two. Um, if there's any questions on these nappies as well, feel free to comment below or if you need some more um, information, there's so much more information and resources on their website as well, barenboho.com.au. Uh, so if you head over there, you'll be able to get quite a lot of information as well. So yeah, that's all for now until my next video, but thank you so much for watching.